<clears throat> all right, rapid fire. We can't do all these games, but in any event, here in Las Vegas, the two semifinals, West Coast Conference tonight, and three more bids go out. Let's start in the West Coast. Uh, I have I saw the Zags minus 20 against Santa Clara. They won 90 to 55 and 88 to 57 in the regular season. Check the status of the Broncos point guard who has a concussion. Yeah, I, I mean the, the two games the regular season were absolute annihilations. Uh, and of course Santa Clara to get here. Let's see, they beat San Fran. They allowed 50% shooting. They were out rebounded by nine in that ball game, but there were 19 Don's turnovers. Santa Clara, the Bronx were hitting from three point range, 50% from the line and 20 of 23 from the charity strike. That's what it took to get here. Each of the last seven meetings between the Zags and the Broncos has gone over the total. Santa Clara slows some teams down, not Gonzaga. All right. This tips at about 845 Pacific St. Mary's and BYU, the other semifinal St. Mary's seven, 142 the total. And they've been able to handle BYU doesn't like to play that slow, slow pace, and St. Mary's gives them fits, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, the Cougs 5-1 and one the last six, including the win at Gonzaga as 21-point underdogs. They're only lost during that span at home, 70-57 to 57 to St. Mary's. And the Gales played it at their pace. You know, they were minus 4.5 in that game. They were, uh, the Gales, minus 10.5 at home against BYU. They won and covered that one as well. Worth noting... BYU has only two point spread covers of the dog all year. One of them came in that win against Gonzaga. More three auto bids tonight. Three more teams punched their tickets in the Metro Atlantic, Siena and Iona. No line in, on Siena's home floor, as you mentioned, which is complete bullshit. Uh, it's 17 and 16 against 21 and 12. Siena may have shot their load. They couldn't miss in the second half against Monmouth and again scored 64 points in the second half. Uh, in the Southern Conference, good game. East Tennessee State against UNC Greensboro in Asheville. No line on that one. That's a one seed against a three seed. And what a game this will be. The Colonial Athletic Association, College of Charleston against UNC Wilmington. Wilmington's got 28 wins. But again, the game's, the game's in Charleston. Uh, Wilmington just played a perfect game. They scored 105 points yesterday in the semifinal win against Bill and Mary. Charleston beat Wilmington on their home floor. Could be a shootout. Going to be a hell of a game. I hope Wilmington's able to win in advance. Could be a Sweet 16 team. Got to win tonight, though. Yeah, sure. And again, you're one of these guys. You're a purist. You hate it when the best team in a conference goes down and that team gets relegated to the NIT. I don't always mind that because then you make some money betting on them in the NIT. <laughs> so, uh, but it's that time right now where there's going to be college basketball morning, noon, and night. Basically all week long and into next week. Expect a lot of hardcore college basketball coverage from a point spread perspective right here on Sportsman. And of course, the three games that you preview that we don't have lines for, those lines will be up early in the morning. We do the show in the overnight hours. And that means no early lines for some of these conference tournament games, unfortunately. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.